Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be reloading some 300 blackout cast bullets. The Lee 155 grain uh, cast bullets from the mold. I've already got some uh, 300 blackout brass here. What we have done to them so far is just add some case lube to them. So now, we're, after we added the case lube, we're gonna go ahead and resize them. We're gonna go ahead and do the resizing and everything on the, the Redding T7 turret. What I do is I do a complete case prep on all my brass. I like doing it on the Redding T7. After the case prep, that's uh, we resize them. And then after that, we trim them to length. After that, we go ahead and we put them in our ready to load bin. So it's just real simple to do. Just take your brass, put it inside the press, and resize it. You really want to hold it in there a little bit and let it grow. So that's the simple, simple process for there. Put it in, resize it, let the brass grow. Okay, the size we're looking for on this on this brass, the trim two link, the trim two link, or the size we're looking for on this 300 blackout brass, is 1.363. I like to go 1.360. It just keeps me from having to trim it later. And right now, all this brass is in that length. So after we resize it, we're not going to have to do any trimming. The neat thing about 300 Blackout is if you trim your brass right from the get-go and get everything pre-prepped right from the start, you can normally keep them in a, in a tolerance and they won't grow very much. That's the cool thing about 300 Blackout is once you get them where you want them, they normally don't grow very much. So all these are basically just need to be resized and then we can go ahead and take them over to the progressive Okay, place. now we're gonna do a little uh, chamfering and be burring. It's real simple to do. Just do a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside. It doesn't take too much. You don't wanna uh, cut the case down because you actually can do that. You just wanna chamfer just a little bit and then come to the outside and deburr. Okay, simple to do. A lot of us have been reloading a long time. Know how to do this. It's just a simple little thing to do, but it really helps when seating the bullet. It lets your bullet go in there a whole lot smoother. So it's just something that I like to do, especially on uh, newer cases. Okay, we'll go ahead and get these, get these finished up. Champering bird. Okay guys, we're over here at the Dillon Press now to reload some of these 300 blackout cast bullets. Uh, these bullets here are uh, the Lee 155 grain, uh, 312. They're actually made for the uh, AK, or type of bullet, if you will. Powder coated with the Eastwood powder with the gas check. Okay, they've been sized down to 309 diameter. <clears throat> Okay, to talk about this a little bit, when I was setting up the Lee resizing die, I used the Lee resizing die and I used the Lee shell holder, the Lee um, uh, kit, if you will, the die kit. Well, I, the very first case that I put into the die got stuck. Got to looking, did a little Googling, and found out that the shell holder they sent me for the 300 blackout was not the correct shell holder. The shell holder they sent me was for a 30-06 and 308. So therefore, it was the wrong shell holder. So uh, after scratching that brand new die all to heck by and getting the case unstuck, put one of my shell holders on there, and you can see it all worked great. So I came over to the the Dillon press here. I what you don't know is I reset up my 223 dies. I changed a little bit of stuff on it. Reset those dies up. Reloaded about 25, 30, 223 dies, uh, 223 cases, cartridges. Worked great. Come over here to the 300 blackout, set everything up. Two of the dies were already set, pre-set up. Reset up my flaring die. Got to the powder measure die, which was the last die that I was going to set up. After destroying, uh, oh, I don't know, 12 cases or so, realized that that auto drum powder measure wasn't working correctly, 
after about three hours, three and a half hours of messing with it and destroying cases, uh, making adjustments and uh, taking the powder measure off and on, I decided to go ahead and take the one off my 223 uh, die set and bring it over to this one and it worked great. So, so far we had two lead, pro lead products today that we tried and two of them didn't work. So I'll have to send the powder measure back to Lee. Uh, I don't know what else to do to it. What's happening is, is during the cycle it would stick and when it would stick, the case would get crushed inside the, the die here. The die, the way it works is it pushes it up, twists the drum, drops the powder. On the way up, it would get stuck. It would smash the case all to heck. Okay, so once I thought I thought got that fixed, I got the case to go all the way up and actuate the drum powder measure. At that point, it would stick on the way down, so half the powder would be in the case, half of it would still be in the, in the drum. It would come down, set for about two or three seconds and release, and there would go all the powder all over everything. So after fighting that and fighting that, we went ahead and just put the 223 on there, and now it works great. So we'll have to send that drum powder measure back. Okay, so there's, there it is. So right here, we're resizing the brass. Okay, let me take my glasses off. Now we're gonna add the primer, add the powder, and you can see the one on the 223 worked great, which means it also works good on the, on the 300 black out here. Okay, go ahead and add the bullet. Seat the bullet, come over to the crimp stage, and crimp. Okay, we'll do it one more time. So, flare the case, seat the primer, add the powder, add the bullet, and crimp. Okay, so now that everything's set up nice and easy and working fine, as you can see, it works now. Everything is coming out great. All the specs are, are where they need to be. Okay, the powder measure is working great. Okay, the lead dies on the Dillon press. If you all decide to go this route, I would recommend that you don't use the lead dies. I would recommend that you get like the Dillon dies or the Redding dies are a little bit longer. A couple of like the dies with the Lee, you're right at your last little, uh, oh, I just lost my train of thought, guys, so bear with me. You're right here at your last little, uh, where your lock ring will hold on to the die, so they're pretty short, because this is pretty thick, thicker than the Lee's. But it's set up with the Lee dies, and it's working great now. I will have to send that drum powder measure back, get a new drum powder measure, to, so we can have one on the 223 and the 300 blackout. I was gonna show you how easy it is to just change and go from caliber to caliber. It is really simple. All you have to do for the 300 Blackout 223 is slide those off, take off the tool head, slide in the, the 223 tool head that's already pre-set up, and then you just go right to reloading 223. It's just that simple. But right now, because I have the 223 drum powder measure on this setup, I'm not able to show you that. But as soon as the new drum powder measure comes in, we will go ahead and we will get that, show you that quick little change. Okay, but now that I have these loaded up, as you can see, the cartridge, the 300 blackout is working great with this setup. Just be nice if we would have got a powder measure that worked and it'd be nice if we didn't, if we would have got the right shell holder so we could have showed you all right from the start. That's the kind of stuff you get into when you, you know, uh, yes, the leaves are inexpensive, but sometimes they take a lot of tweaking and sometimes they just don't work. Just part of the deal. But you know, I've had, had high quality stuff not work too, so you really can't say that, but you, know, you, just, you just waste a lot of time sometimes getting stuff to figure out if it's gonna work. It works if the equipment works. So we gotta send that drum powder measure back, but, Overall, I'm very satisfied with the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Oh, I don't know how many I got left. We had, we had 50 here. I think we're probably gonna get about a total of 
30, 35 out of it after destroying the cases. So I'm going to go ahead and get these loaded up so I can have some for the range. But now that it's set up, now all the crying's done, now all the fun can begin. We just can't reload no more 223 right now until I get another drum powder measure. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. One more time, let me show you how this works. It's simple. Okay. Add powder. You gotta watch it when it clicks like that. Sometimes that means that the case isn't working all the way. The powder measure isn't working all the way. There it is. Just that simple, just that quick. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned because we're going to be reloading some more of these. We, we're just working out the kinks right now. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please check me out over at Patreon or just hit the donate button below. Thanks again, guys, for watching.